Here in Chicago and the suburbs, synagogues are stepping up security after what's being called the deadliest attack on the Jewish community in American history. CBS 2's V. Win live right now at Federal Plaza with more details. V. Yeah, good morning, Suzanne. We know a vigil is scheduled for tonight here at Federal Plaza where people can mourn, pray, and stand in solidarity. While there are no known threats to religious institutions in Chicago, police say they are providing special attention to synagogues throughout the city. Now, some members of the Skokie Valley Synagogue learned about the tragedy in the middle of service right after what happened to the rabbi says the building was immediately placed on lockdown from the outside. All doors were closed off except for the main entrance. The rabbi says they alerted their armed security guard and placed volunteers at different exits as a precaution. They already have a security system in place, but recently applied for and was granted $150,000 to add even more security measures to the house of worship. It's a great American tragedy that houses of worship, you know, might need armed guards. Um, we made the decision many years ago to have one here. Um, it's not an easy decision. It's very expensive. It's very costly. Now, as for the vigil, it starts here tonight at 530. So far, more than 420 people say they are planning to attend. Reporting live from Federal Plaza, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, back to you. Thanks so much, V.